Hi everybody, I'm Alushia. Today we we're playing Marathon, and this is gonna be awesome. So we're up to level five at this point. This is couch fishing, where things start to get a little weird. Uh, security channel open, defense priority 120F. Me incoming message from Leela. I have some bad news. Durandal has gone rampant, and he is in the angry stage. Angry stage. This explains how Durandal was able to communicate with the four and the spit while I have not. Theoretically, the Marathon computer net is not big enough to sustain rampant growth for very long. This means that as Durandal grows into the computer net, he will begin affecting all systems of the ship, re resulting in unpredictable failures of otherwise benign computer systems. I have teleported you here to make sure that Durandal cannot gain access to a vital section of the ship. Therefore, a series of control switches that you will need to activate to block his access. This is where you are now. Study the maps so you can do this quickly. Here's the first of the three activation switches that you'll need to activate. Here is the second. This is the last switch. Be warned, the aliens have already entered this area. Now this this is actually an interesting level because in the code for this level, there is, I believe, a fail state in the terminal, but it's not implemented in the game. There is a victory condition, which is finish your objectives inside of a specific amount of time, but I do not believe any level in the game actually uses this uh, objective which means that originally this level was probably intended to be timed and it may even have been intended to be a branching story path you'll we'll talk about that a little bit later when there we get to one of the other levels where there was definitely plans to branch the story but those plans fell through during the development this is like there are remnants of all kinds of things in this game and bits and pieces of all out there is our first oh, I'm going to fall there we go, one switch activated. So originally this level was probably going to be timed. It was probably going to be a matter of finishing it in a short period. And so you would need that map and figure out where everything is. Now, as you can tell, the map is two dimensional. The levels are not. What's even worse is the map, the levels don't ascribe to standard geometry. Uh, two areas of the map can actually be in the same place at the same time. So you can have two rooms that are actually on top of one another. Eventually, I think we will start seeing that more, especially in the second and third game. But there is some of it in the first game as well. I don't think there is any on this level. I'm just mentioning it because I was talking about the level design and the way the map works. This makes the map surprisingly less useful than you would think. It's like, oh, I have an auto map. Yeah, but good luck telling where the auto map pieces are. Killing some troopers and a warrior. Fighter. Trooper. Warrior. Warrior is the guy with the staff. Trooper is the guy with the assault rifle. I was just explained this like 20 minutes ago. You would think I would remember, but apparently I don't. I really love it. It they they just put so much effort into this game. It's really well done. They spent so much time and effort growing this universe and making everything feel like it's part of a, a bigger thing that was going on. There's like like those terminals that just give you history and stuff. The Traxxas 4 terminal is theorized to actually be important to the storyline of Marathon because the implication some people have taken away from it is that Durandal is based on a uh, shard or a, a recreation of Traxxas by one of the people on the ship in a deliberate attempt to create a stable AI. There's also implications in the game that Durandal deliberately signaled the four, and the implication there is that he's been rampant for much longer than anyone suspected. That he's probably been rampant since, like, the ship just left Earth. Or left Mars, as the case may be. Because technically this is... Okay, you will eventually get there. I don't think... I don't remember what level we actually get that information on right now. We do eventually find out what Marathon exactly is. I thought that was earlier in the game than this, but apparently not. Uh, we go here. This is this actually maybe it. Yeah, this is it. This is where we find out the marathon. Unauthorized access alarm. Security breached. Data transfer cohesion. Search string Christ. The Christ Solar Soul Orbiters. The Christ Soul Orbiters or cargo and resource in-system transports 
were huge ships shaped like a hollow potato and designed to be able to move amount, huge amounts of material between Earth and Mars with low cost and theoretically low maintenance. The system was simple. The Christ was put into orbit around Sol on the plane of the ecliptic. Built with a powerful solar sail, the Christ could change its orbit easily to pass by Earth or Mars. On a flyby, materials could be loaded or offloaded. The energy used to accelerate or decelerate the materials would be supplied by the solar sail. Loading was accomplished with a giant tether and reel system, which would swing the materials into orbit behind the Christ and then reel it in slowly. Offloading was accomplished with a powerful ion beam, which would pound the offloading material with a steady stream of ion particles. The design of the Christ was innovative and useful, but it was not low maintenance. Of the five Christs that were built, four lasted around 100 years, and the other one only lasts only 70, be three before they needed to be brought back to Earth and refitted. Each refitting took about 15 years and was completely occupied the Earth's space sh shipbuilding facility for that time. The result was no more than five Christs could be kept in a service at any time. No Christ was ever built after 2310. The Christ failures devastated Mars. As the first five Christs were built, Mars' colony grew quickly, confident that the regrowth would continue. But when the source of Mars' resources failed, the colony found that it, was over, it had overgrown its support, supportable size, and extreme poverty struck most of the population. Each time that a Christ broke down, the result was famine on Mars. The con the conservation of de conversion of Deimos into the Marathon began when the Mars colony was at the height of its power. By the time it was completed, 64 years later, the colony of Mars was well advanced. During that time, the Martian population had seen its standard of living drop by 80%. On top of oppressive poverty, Martians saw one of their moons being converted into a colony ship in an expensive and risky colony venture which was predominantly funded by a ruling foreign power. The arguments to make the marathon into a Christ became more and more popular, but the USC never seriously considered this an option. The farther the mothers sank into the depths of poverty, the more that Martian marathon became a symbol of oppression of the Martian people. The Declining Martian World After the marathon left Mars, the USC attention focused primarily on technological development and the upkeep of the Christs. Mars was left to decay. Population continued to de increase as attempts to mandate or abor abortion or sterilization always started revolt. Spurious interrupt. Breach disabled. Further access denied. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. So that's the, the information about this, the origins of the marathon, sort of. Um, it's about where what they built the marathon to do. It was originally supposed to be a colony ship, but it also gives you some idea of the kind of engineering and absolutely insane things that humanity has done in this setting. They built interplanetary transport ships just to ship supplies to Mars. They, I mean, they converted a moon into a colony ship. That's really impressive. I love that kind of thing because it's it's bigger and fancy and more interesting. Oh, this is where's my exit point? Did I miss one of the, no, I hit all three of the switches. I'm pretty sure I did. Let me check. That's where I am. That's one of the switch. That's one switch. That's one switch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I spent all three of the switches. So I don't, where the heck is my exit here? Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, I definitely hit that one. Did I fail to hit one of them? Did I miss it? I might have missed the one down here, I guess. No, that one's definitely been activated. So what am I doing wrong? I, I don't remember. It's a little frustrating. I'm sorry, folks. I'm really so No, I hit that one too. What? I oh, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the switch I heard earlier opens this door. The one that I wasn't sure what it was doing. Uh, opens this door, and this is where you have to get, to get out of the level. Oh, that is a room full of aliens. Let me not go that way. Oh, that's a dead end. I guess I have to go this way. But I can at least lure the aliens into the hallway and then use grenades! Because grenades! <laughs> I'm sorry, I really enjoy that. I'm going to keep doing it because it makes me smile. And you know, I'm playing this game as much for me as for anyone else. It's a game I love. I haven't played it in a long time. Just give me an excuse. You'll have to put up with it. Here's a fun fact. You can hit switches with grenades. <laughs> you can also punch switches, which I really ought to be doing more. But you can hit switch. This is actually some place I think you need to hit the switch with grenade. Because if you hit it with tab, it takes you a little long to get there. I'm going to save again. I am saving at every save point I can. I hit this. Uh, I hit that. Oh, door opened over here. Oh yes, I remember this. Ah! 
I hate this part. There is a hole down there. If you fall down there, you can get out. There isn't anything down there worth showing that I recall. It's just a big pit, so I will not be going down there. I know, there's a part of this game I'm not showing off. I'm sorry, it's just a big hole in the ground. There really isn't anything down there. There isn't even any secrets down there. Like, you can see there's the door, the window down there. That looks into the area we were in before. You can see into this area. I don't think there are any secrets in this room. I'm pretty sure there are secrets on this level, which I'm not remembering. Oh yes, and this is where you find out. Well, actually, you knew this before, but the spit will actually float up and get on this thing and come after you. So be aware of it. Be a little bit careful. I should really not be using the assault rifle here because I'm firing at long range. I should really be using the uh, the pistol is actually your best long range weapon. There is no sniper rifle equivalent in this game. It's much too old. This was before Sniper became the thing to do. Pistol. Pistols are, really strangely, your most accurate weapon by a fairly wide, ma wide margin. Oh, what the heck happened there? I got launched vertically. I have no idea what happened. That was weird. And I may actually die to this because this is, there's a lie going here. Run around, shoot things. Ah! Uh... So many more, so many spit. Thankfully, I am actually kind of okay at this game. Unfortunately, I have taken kind of a lot of damage. I may actually kind of heal myself before I move on to the next level. I will not force you to watch through that. I will probably edit that out if I do it. Ow. Or I could just die. That works too. Now I have to do all that over again. I'm sure you all love watching me fail, so I don't know if I'll edit that out or not. This is probably one of the harder parts of the game. This is definitely the hardest part that you've played up to this point. Like, there are harder things in the game to come, but this is probably the hardest place you've visited up until now, by a pretty wide margin. Because there are so many aliens here in open space. There's a health restorer here, thankfully, which I'm going to use because I screwed up and got shot a couple of times. I'm going to reload. And, hello aliens, I am from the first church of guns and grenades. Would you like to see our handouts? No? Well, they're free anyway, so take a couple and have fun. Whee! Ow, ow. I'm going to run away now. Run away, run away, run away. There is a healing thing in here. I'm going to go use it. I'm going to be cheesy. I'm going to get my health back. This is actually what the sort of thing, thankfully, you can hear the enemies attacking you. So usually if you're quick, you can get out of the way if they're a long way away. I'm wasting all of my grenades on single targets. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I just love using grenades. I'm sorry. It's something I'd love to do. And I'm playing this game for fun. So deal with it. Man, I, now I really want to have like a sunglasses gif. I should make my uh, icon and my avatar have sunglasses. Yeah, I'm going to play the games the way I want to play them. Deal with it. No, I wouldn't actually do that. That would be stupid and terrible. Ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna fail at this like repeatedly. Like I said, I don't really rage at games, especially not when I'm having fun. And because commentary is actually fairly fun for me, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I would if I was just playing it like in silence. So I will probably not rage at all in the entirety of this let's play. In fact, I may not rage in any of my let's plays. <laughs> It's just, I'm not the kind of person I am, and I enjoy this too much. It's too much fun. I won't even fake rage, because fake rage isn't fun. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of running out of things to talk about at this point, because I've been, uh, dying so much here. Ow. There's so many projectiles, and you die so quickly. Ow, 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 ow. I'm about to die again. Go faster gun. Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going to backtrack it and heal it again. I will probably be removing some of this because this is kind of ridiculous. Like I said, this this chapter is where the game actually starts getting kind of difficult. Uh, it will get harder. You can expect me to fail a lot towards the end of the game. The game gets genuinely genuinely really hard in places. Running through corridors you've already cleared. 
the most enjoyable part of any Let's Play. Fire, fire, fire. Ah! Oh, well, at least I didn't get knocked off this time. I mean, technically you don't need to kill anything in the pit, except for the people that come upstairs. So I'm going to stand here. And I know you probably want to watch me, like, charge in there, but I've tried that twice, and both times I've died. So I'm going to stand... Ah! I'm going to stand here against this wall and empty assault rifle clips into anything that moves. Okay, you guys. A few more. And we are home free, and I'm going to get the heck out of here. I should probably backtrack and heal again, because there's, like, I'm at half health. But I would rather get out of here. Unfortunately, enemies can hit you while you are in the uh, consoles. So I'm going to have to kill everything down there with grenades. Also because grenades! Message from Leela. Durandal has denied access to some of the critical computer systems. This should ensure the mobility and reliability of the defense drones. Unfortunately, I have received a distress signal from some crew who had sealed themselves off in one of the nearby access areas. They say that they have lost control over the doors and elevators on that level, and that the four have access to the area. It appears that Durandal has reacted to our move against him by giving the four access to a formerly secure area. We will have to deal with Durandal sooner or later, but we can't be distracted from the four attack. I only hope that his rampant behavior won't continually sabotage our defense efforts. If I am, I am sending you to go and save these crew. Clear the alien, area of aliens. If enough of the crew survive, then perhaps we can get an intelligence report from them. End message. Jump pad activation seat initiates to start. Transport when ready. And we arrive on our next level. This is level six or seven, The Rose. This is another, this is gonna get really hard. Uh, so, I'm Lucia, this has been awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Have a great day.